Hey there, what's up? Clay Moffitt here for Overnight Pictures, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a galaxy. It could be simple as a picture, or I've even got a video demonstration if you need some special effects for a film or advertisement or just some motion graphics design. I'll go ahead and teach you how to do both. So let's go ahead and start. So inside of After Effects, I have a new composition and we are going to create a new solid. And for this effect to work, we're going to be using Trap Code Particular. And then I'm going to use Video Copilot's Optical Flares, but you could also use Red Giant Software's Null Light Factory. But you really need one or the other. But we'll get to that later. Let's go ahead and also create a new null object. Kind of put it in the center here. Grab the pan behind tool and um, grab your center point and just center it out. It'll be a little bit easier to work with later. The next step is to create a new light, point light, and we're going to want to name this emitter. It's going to be important later, so make sure you do that. All right. Let's go ahead and duplicate it a couple times. We have two copies of the light, three all together. So let's go ahead and grab one of the copies and move it over and a little bit up. We want it centered with the null, but above it. We'll do the same thing with another copy, but we'll put it below. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just want it to kind of be in a line. Then with the last one, we're going to go ahead and put it in the very center. Now that all the lights are positioned, we need to go ahead and find the one that's in the center, double click and rename it light. We don't want it to be an emitter layer. You can go ahead and make the null object a 3D layer and then select all of the light layers and parent them to the null object. So now, if we move the null object, scale it, the lights stay in the same place. And move it around, the lights move with it. Go ahead and select your solid and apply particular. The first thing we're going to do is go to emitter, type, and change it from a point to lights. So now every light that has the word emitter in it is now going to be emitting particles. You can see that our middle light is not doing this. It's only coming out of the top and bottom light. We want the velocity and everything below velocity with the word velocity in it to be zero. So that they're just kind of creating particles in that one spot. And we don't want our emitter size to be this big. Let's go ahead and cut it in half for now. In order to create the galaxy, we need that spiral effect. So we're going to go ahead and go into the null and do a little bit of adjusting. We can go ahead and scale it up, maybe to about 200. Set a keyframe. And let's also set a keyframe on the Z rotation. Go forward about a second, doesn't need to be precise. And we're going to rotate it twice. So that now we've got a big circle. It's doing two rotations in that second. And we're also going to scale it down. Probably about 75-ish. Gonna want to mess with that. But that's what we're looking for. So now you can see it's going in and rotating. So we've got our spiral design that we are looking for. Right now we have our points are still creating particles after the animation is done. So find right about where they end, set a keyframe on your time factor, go one frame over and change it to zero. So now it's just going to freeze right there. Let's go ahead and move our workspace over. We don't really need the beginning where it's animating. We need everything after that now that we've set it up. The next thing we need to do is work on our individual particles and make them look more like a galaxy. So we're going to go ahead and rename this one main because this will be our main particle system. 
and then we're going to add a lot more particles. We'll start with a thousand and see how it's looking. Go into the particle settings and we're going to want to lower the size quite a bit. Maybe one and a half. That's, that's good for start. Make the size random a little bit. We don't want them all to be exactly the same size. Right now it's kind of bland. We need to add some color. So let's add some color over life. Go into the settings and then use this bottom preset. Change your colors. This is where you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to make mine look more like the Milky Way. A little bit of orange. And then a darker orange. So that's what I'm looking for right there. That's my galaxy, but you guys feel free to do whatever you want. The next thing we need to do is duplicate this layer and we can rename it small. This is going to be our small particles. So if we come in here, we're going to double the amount of particles to 2000 and then change the size to about 0.7. We want them to be really, really little. We're also going to adjust the random seed a little bit so that they're not in the exact same position as the other particles. We also want to add a little bit of velocity to these ones, maybe about four, and then some velocity from motion, probably about eight or nine. So that's what we're looking for. Now we're to the point where in order to really see what we're doing, we need to start working in 3D. So we're going to add a new camera and we want it to be a wide angle lens. 20-24 works pretty good. Now that we have a camera, let's go ahead and move the galaxy into the position we want. We can go ahead and orbit. And we're going to want to move our lights down to a more reasonable level in Z space. And then we can go ahead and zoom in. And now you can see if we orbit this, we're really getting some depth here. We have some nice looking particles. So this is what you should be looking at so far. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is duplicate our small particles again, adjust the random seed so they're in a different spot, Maybe change the size to 0.4. We want really tiny particles. And then take your main particles, duplicate them. And this is going to be our smoke layer. You need like the nebula portion, if you will, of your galaxy. So let's go ahead and change the name of this to smoke. All right, and we're going to go into the particle and change the type from sphere to cloudlet. And then adjust the size. And you want to make sure that, yeah, it looks terrible, but you want to make sure that your whole circle right here is filled in. So you want to get rid of this black. You want to fill it up until there is no more black. It's just one big blob. So that looks pretty good. And then lower the opacity to about two. We can start at two. And then make sure you lower your particle count to about 120. Make the opacity a little bit more. There we go. So that's what we're looking for. And then you can change the transfer mode to add or you can keep it normal. I like it because it, it adds some glow in the center there. You're probably going to want to take one of your small particle layers and make it add as well. Just so you kind of get some depth in there. I mean, galaxies are pretty bright. Okay, so we can rotate in here and you can see we have a galaxy looking thing it's pretty cool looking 
Now you need to get into creating the center. We need the hot center part of the galaxy. So let's create a new solid. And I'm going to add optical flares, but like I said, you can use null light factory. Change it to add. And then you're going to want to change your positioning mode source type from 2D to track lights. Now we kind of have the problem of it's really bright because we have three lights. Go into your track lights options. Name starts with anything. Change that to light. That's why we renamed it light. So now it's only going to be on the center object, the center light. You can see there's nothing coming out of these two. Let's go into our options and mess around with some presets. Okay, if you've downloaded Pro Presets, there's one called Natural Light that works really well. You're just going to want to hide some of these irises. Change the global color to more of a sun color. There we go. And then I would even go so far as to tint it an orange color. So maybe a little bit too much. Then all you have to do is adjust the brightness and scale to a setting that you like. Your galaxy can be as bright or as dim as you'd like it to be. In my original example, I also added a spike ball to the flare and lowered how big it was. That way there was light shooting off of the top of it. So let's go ahead and add a new solid. And then there's a Starfield preset that you can purchase from Red Giant Software. I applied that. Make sure you put it in the background here. And then I went into the emitter and changed the amount of particles way down since it's like deep space. To freeze the stars, I just went into the physics time factor, hit a keyframe, moved forward, and then zero again so that it would freeze. To animate this, just set a couple of keyframes and use the orbit tool to move around. I'm sure you know how to animate, but this is what you can get. Looks pretty cool. It looks like a galaxy, which is the point. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned a few things about creating some space objects. Galaxies are fun to make and they're easy to customize. You could easily go in there and change the color and completely change how your galaxy looks. You could also change the animation of your null object at the beginning to get a different shape for your galaxy. It's very simple. Once you set it up, you're good to go. You can make anything you want. So. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.